in this section, uh, we're going to test our system and uh, what we created already, uh, everything we created already is going to be inside the uh, parse click folder. So you're going to have this parse click folder. But if you open up your uh, section 06 and 22, video 22, you have classes. These are the things we created already for this uh, you know, course. And then we have this test folder which is uh, created by me to test the system. It's really simple. We have our CSS file. We have our includes with a uh, few files in it, such as authenticate, DB connect. These are the things we created already. And we have our login, logout, register, uh, re uh, read our, uh, restricted one, re restricted two, uh, revalidate and sensitive pages to test this. So let's just copy this test to you know the main project. So we have our parse click and test folder. So uh, we're gonna start uh, dragging this to Sublime Text and open this uh, CSS. So CSS are just some CSS styles, which uh, I'm not gonna explain because it's in uh, CSS course. We have uh, include, authenticate. Authenticate is gonna be explained in a minute. Uh, in future, we have our DB connect. You can go ahead and change this based on your username and password. This is really important. We have our uh, logout button. So we have the form. We just submit, which is going to read, uh, you know, session return to uh, to the PHP uh, PHP self. I'm going to explain all this and logout says, as well as uh, this file, which is going to be explained later. So for now, I'm just going to explain the register because we're going to register. And don't be intimidated by, uh, by this file. It's go it's, it is really simple. From line 59 to line uh, 111 are your HTML files. And uh, these are the head tags you know already. And then we have our form. This form is going to submit to the same page. So server PHP self, it's going to submit the, this form to this page. So uh, as I you know, shake my mouse, you can see that it is getting bigger because I upgraded to El Capitan recently, Mac. So this is happens because uh, sometimes uh, you lose your um, cursor uh, because you're using Retina display. This is irrele irrelevant. This is irrelevant. So, so we have the method post right now, and then we have a paragraph. Inside the par paragraph, we have a label called username with an input called username. Uh, and then PHP check to see if the username and error is uh, just to display the error. All of these codes are just displaying the errors uh, in front of the uh, fields such as username. And we have the same thing in the password. So I check to see if we have errors. So we're going to echo the errors. So if I go ahead and open up this file, I'm going to show you while I'm explaining the, all of this. Localhost uh, exercise files. And we're going to go to the test folder and register. There you go. This is our register. So all the uh, error codes are going to appear right in front of the fields. So this is uh, what I was going to uh, explain. So these are, you know, the labels and then the input. So in front of the input, this is your error code. Check to see if the error is valid and it's going to, uh, you know, show it. If you have a file called functions, you can go ahead and add all of this into a function and display it individually. Like you can see that we have a set error username or a set error password, and then we're gonna error the password, uh, echo the password uh, error, as well as echoing the username uh, error. Otherwise, if it fails, we're gonna say fail. If you come down here, confirm password, we have a, another field to confirm the password. And then uh, we have a submit button. The really important thing here are line 30 and so on. So first thing you can uh, we submit the, you know we have the errors equal to an empty array and then we can check to see if the post register is uh, set already which is this name of this button right here and then we're gonna require DB connect this is uh, you know your connection so it's really important to go ahead and change this if you have different username and password for your database connection and then we have our expected username password and confirm. Uh, these are expected fields to see if uh, if one of them is even empty. For now, let's just do not uh, fill out anything and create an account. And you can see that we have our errors. 
this field requires value, this field requires value, and so on. So these are required here, expected. And then for each post key values, we're going to use in array and expect it, and then trim the uh, you know a space. For example, you have your username called Hassan, and then maybe you have a couple of space after and a couple of space before. This trim, what it's going to do is just going to trim all of that space like this and just use the uh, this username like this. So it's really important to use that. And we, uh, pay attention to using a uh, variable variable. And you can also go ahead and use anything and uh, something else. But since we are using an if and for each, that's why we're using a variable variable. And we have our empty variable variable key. And then if it's something empty, we're going to say this field records value, like you can see right here now. That's all about errors. If there is no error, then we're going to proceed the uh, confirm. If the password do, does not match the confirm, you can actually add another equal to match it exactly. But this is only sufficient. And then we're going to say password do not match. Otherwise, uh, if the password match and, and we don't have any errors, then we're going to choose the, you know, proceed the SQL query. So select count from users where username equals the username. And then the username is going to come from the uh, you know, bind param and also, and then we're going to execute this. So what the username is, if you scroll up, you can see that we have a username field. So what username field is, if I go ahead and uh, scroll down here, you can see that this is the name of the username and then we're going to assign it to a, a HTML entity username, uh, you know, variable. That's what, that's what it is. And then we're going to execute it. And then we're going to fetch a column. Uh, if it's not equal to zero, and then we're going to say, OK, this is going to check if the username is already uh, in a database. So it's going to say, is the username is already registered? Choose another name. Or choose another username, probably is much better. And uh, otherwise, we're going to, we haven't tried and cache. This is really important. You can pay attention here. We're going to generate a random eight character user key and insert value into the database. So we say a user key hash CRC32. So CRC32 is usually used to display errors, but uh, I trust we can you know generate the eight character uh, you know user key with this uh, helper and then micro time true and empty ran. This is going to make a random empty ran or MD ran we have. And uh, we're going to concatenate with the username. And in the next stage, we're going to insert it to the users table. The user key we have right here, the username and password. These are the placeholders, which we are binding a parameter and binding a value for the password hash. So pay attention, we're using a password hash. So if you uh, look at the database and see that the password is already been blowfish hashed, uh, or you know encrypted already. This is where it you're using, and this is required the PHP 5.5 uh, 5 and later. So otherwise, you have to use password compact library, as I said in the uh, first section. And then we're going to execute. Otherwise, we're going to catch the error and display the error. These are the, the rest is just the same. And if everything is all right, we're going to uh, the count the row count method returns one if the record is. Uh, inserted. So if a record is inserted, this is, has to return one. So redirect the user to the login page. If ST, uh, SM, STMT or a state your statement route count, uh, you know, is true or equals to one, which is the same thing, you're going to redirect to the login page. So let's just try now. If I refresh, you already see that uh, I submitted, you know, Hassan and I'm just going to leave the password. You can see that it says, again, okay, uh, let's just fill the password. If I say here, one, two, three, four, and then here, four, three, two, one, and then create, it's going to say, password do not match. So it has to match. And let me just open up the, um, you know, PHP my admin. I'm just going to show you says underscore admin as well as secret for the password. And uh, let's open up this user. So now it's, you can see that it's empty. So it's, let's say Hassan, the password is going to be, let's say, secret again, secret again, and then create account. He redirects us to the 
persistent login and if I come here and refresh you, you will be able to see the username the user key is uh, one two three let me just zoom in a little bit maybe uh, I won't be able to zoom it maybe like this yeah it's much better so one two three four five six seven eight so eight character this is where we generate a random string so with this CRC32 you can generate anything you want you might uh, actually use MD5 if you want you want to use SHA1 so anything you want uh, CRC32 maybe you can use S SHA1 maybe here maybe MD5 anything you want but I used CRC32 you can go ahead and check uh, you know search this CRC32 for the PHP and so it is uh, you know uh, cyclic redundancy checksum so this is what it is and then the manual is right here for the PHP it says calculate the CRC polynomial for the string uh, of a string then uh, it's got some warning uh, this is just here to, to let you know you can use anything basically for the encryption so this is where uh, user key is uh, you know eight character string then the username you can see that is Hassan and then the password is encrypted started with two y dollar ten and then it's uh, encrypted uh, you know much uh, for you you can see that it is long encryption so now uh, I explained everything in the register so let's go ahead in the next video I'm going to show you the login page and maybe other pages